including attribution. It's going to show you how to use the image gallery on op-ed news. The image gallery makes it easy and fun to find images and or videos to illustrate your content, be it articles, polls, quick links, diaries, or comments. Best of all, this tool automatically filters where possible for Creative Commons permissioned content so that you, you're reasonably confident that you're getting material that is not violating copyrights. It then grabs the owner name, the link to the owner's, owner's content page, and it allows you to add the category of permission. You can also add a, uh, a caption as well. So let's get started. You'll find yourself here on a, the article or content submission page. Here's the field where you add text and images, uh, where I'm moving the cursor. I've come up with a, 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 a cute name for a title, How to Grow Roses in the Desert. So, we'll want to put in some pictures of roses and uh, maybe a picture of the desert. Maybe roses in the desert. So the first thing you do is you put your cursor where you want the image to go. In this place, we'll put it right here at the top of the article. Or we could put it in the middle of the article or the bottom of the article, but we'll go with the top of the article for this image. And let's see what we can do in terms of finding an image. This is the icon you click on. If you mouse over it, it will say Image Gallery. Click on it, then click on the top button, Gallery of Images and Videos. And you get the page loading that is your search page. Now this is the image gallery tool. You'll notice that there are a number of different ways to find images. So images that are that have Creative Commons rights. So we start with them. Then there's also Google Images, Pixabay Images. Twitter photos, which are not filtered for permission. Wikipedia photos, which generally are Creative Commons. YouTube, which are not filtered for permission, but which are often uh, fair use in terms of journalism. Uh, for not that news, you can save your photos and you can look at the photos you've already created. And then this is for tweet cards. So. We're going to type in a search term, and it's going to go to the Flickr photos, because that's the default. And we'll put in Desert Rose. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. Let's see what we get now. Give it a moment to let the images load. Not always this slow. There we go. And you get all kinds of different results. So over here you see a rock that's called a desert road. You don't rose, you don't want that. You got people at the Desert Rose Adult High School. You don't want that. Look further down, you have some flowers, but I'm not really totally confident that those are desert roses. I'm not even sure that I want to have a desert rose. I may just want a rose that's growing in the desert. That may not be the same thing. A desert rose, for all I know, is a cactus. But this gives you some information to look at. If you don't see anything on the first page, you can, oh boy, getting an update. We don't want that. Then you can go to the next page, or the next page. And we will, for the sake of practice, Let's go with this image here. It says Desert Rose. 
we'll click on it. Click on the image. That'll give you some more information about information about it. It doesn't really give you any more. The caption just says Desert Rose. Now you can see here who the owner is, the link to the page where the image is, and the license. And that license will work. Now, from there, let's say we accept this one. So you would scroll down and see it says select this image. Click on it. That takes you back to the text entry page and you click finish selection. And there you have your image inserted in your article. Not only is it inserted there, but along with it you have the owner name, the link to the image in, in Flickr, and uh, it's all pulled together for you. makes it really easy to do. Now let's try another one over here. We'll do the same thing again. Click on Image Gallery, click on the top button. This time, let's try it again. Let's try Desert Rose. But just to be sure we got the right thing, let's go to Wikipedia. I spelled Desert Rose, and I have to retype it. Um, you type it. This is words. You search. Now, this takes a little time because we're using the search and scraping for Wikipedia to see what we can find. And there's the Desert Rose. Let's take a close look at that. That looks kind of like what we had the picture of from before. And it is. We found a good one before and this one might even be better because it's sort of in a desert. Not exactly a desert though, but this one might be better. So we can edit the caption and we'll get rid of the numbers that don't make any sense. Leave the text and then select this image. Takes us back to the content page. Finish selection. There it is. And we've got another one. Now let's try another way of addressing this. Let's try to find the video. In the gallery of images. And go to YouTube. Now YouTube search is a bit different. YouTube search lets you find both a video and a still shot from within the video. So we'll type in the same text search. And of course it doesn't have to be the same. You can type in something else. You can type in desert or rose or roses in the desert. But just to stay consistent, we'll go with the same one. Desert, rose. And search. And get all kinds of different material. Stings, Desert Rose. 
Looks like that's a, what most of these are. That's not what we're looking for. So we go to the next. See what brings us. And here you go. How to grow desert rose gardening tips. We got it. Now, we already have the pictures we want. We might want to add this static image over here. We could do that. Or we could decide to take the video and include it in a video tutorial on how to do it. Let's do that. Let's look at the caption first. How to grow desert rose, get dark gardening tips. I'm the Coastal Farms gardening expert, Justin Hancock. Uh, I would say I'd probably simplify it. How to, how to grow desert rose, get gardening tips. So, we will edit this. Now, one of the reasons I think that this is running so slowly is I have a lot of pages open on my computer while I'm recording this. So, one way to prevent that is to have less pages open and less tabs open. So there we have it. That's the, that's the video. If you click here to select this video, it will actually grab the embed code and the caption, and it will place it in a selection again, where you wanted it, where you put the cursor for it. Now, it's, as you can read, this says this is a placeholder. Your video selection will appear here. That means it will appear there when you publish the article. So, we've picked a couple of images and we've added a video. And this makes it so easy to find and not only find, but include the attributions. So, let's go see what happens next. Well, let's just type in some. No, Letters to require fill in the requirement for the description. Select a category, and then submit the article. Put some tags, and uh, let's go with flowers and desert. I don't think we have a specific tag for Desert Rose. I don't think we need one. Then we'll go with Flowers. And we don't have anything for the Desert. And I'm not going to bother to create one now. That's another tutorial. Really simple though. We'll just go with Flowers. Here's our tagging. Then it asks, which image do you want to use for the headline? Now, on Op-Ed News, we take one of the images from your content and put it on the front page to make the headline more attractive, more engaging, and to, because it's more likely to get people to view it. So let's try this one here. Click on that. It will then ask you to select which view of it. We, we require that on the front page all the images are the same, shape or size. So you're going to pick which view you like. and. I like this one, which has the flower centered a bit more. So we'll go with that one. Just click on it. And that takes care of that. Now, just so you know how this works, uh, let's look at the image crediting. You'll see that you have the image here. You have the caption that you, s you put in there. It has the owner name. It has the URL of the owner's page. And it has Creative Commons Attribution No Derivatives 2.0. So all of this was automatically captured by using the image gallery. You don't have to do it. And this is the best way to provide images that you're using that other people own that, they, that have given permission. You're really respecting your, their rights. You're respecting copyrights. And you're giving full attribution and credit. And then it, this here mentions that it was found using the image gallery search. Uh, that's what you'll get. Let's 
let's cancel and go back to revise. We're going to do that because we have everything we need there, but I wanted to give one more demonstration here. So just and we're doing great. Let's say you grabbed the image from the video. That does not necessarily give you permission. Now, most people would say that it's fair use to just use an image from a video, uh, especially if you're a journalist, uh, especially if you're, if you're providing links to the video. But you can't be 100% sure all the time, and that's going to be a journalistic or a blogger or a publisher call. Uh, you don't have the, the confirmation when you're doing a, a YouTube thing with Twitter. So, so, let's go to Twitter. Twitter Photos. Twitter Photos is another way to find images. Now, the thing is with Twitter Photos, you don't know whether or not these are permissioned. But they're, it's a way to get a lot of images quickly. Uh, and you have to be careful about that. Hmm, this should have had this, oh, okay, I'm going to have to do this later. You've got to authorize it each time you use it. It's a little awkward, but it's still handy. And we're waiting. Twitter. Now, Twitter will take some time to do a search, um, but now we're ready to go. Okay, so let's put in 